contrary to what some believe, the recent slaughter, rape, kidnapping, torture of Israeli civilians from babies to old women in their 90s did not weaken Israel. If anything, the resolve of Israel and their supporters is only strengthened. The attack showed all of Israel and their supporters and the world what many already knew, the over 70-year-old war against Israel, which has led to many years of suffering, not only for Israeli Jews, but also for Palestinian Arabs and others, is not about the many excuses used to demonize Jews and Israel. This is a war against the Jew itself, the tactic of deflecting all blame and responsibility onto Israel can never explain away the cruelty and ease by which Hamas and Islamic Jihad, with the full support of the Iranian regime and many others, raped, tortured, beheaded, burned alive, kidnapped, shot in cold blood at point blank range, thousands of completely defenseless Israeli civilians for no other reason than that they are Jews, from babies to old women in their 90s. We live in a world where good exists, but so does great evil. Humankind cannot advance and address the serious issues that threaten all of human life on Earth, including nuclear weapons, environmental destruction, the poisoning of the planet, and more, as long as the obsession with hating and harming a tiny minority overrides everything else. Ending mass poverty, repression, the many active wars, and all of the other misery in the world receives far less focus and concern than does the effort to destroy the Jew. The effort to detach Hamas from its crimes and from its genocidal obsession with killing, raping, beheading, burning alive, torturing, and kidnapping Jews completely ignores Hamas's words and actions. Israel has the right to go after Hamas, Islamic Jihad, and their backers, but it must never sink to the demonic depths of those that kidnap, kill, rape, and torture.